The Linzer cookie is just like a cookie dough with hazelnuts ground up into it. And you roll it out and you create little discs that you stack together once they're baked and fill with raspberry jam in the middle to seal them together. Super delicious. We're going to bring together butter, egg, salt, and a little bit of cinnamon, sugar, vanilla. My butter was room temperature, my egg was not. So when I put my cold egg into my room temperature butter, the butter of course got cold and it curdled a little bit. Also doing this by hand, just to show that you don't need a mixer in order to do it. It's fine as long as it looks something like this, you're gonna nail it. I'm going to ground up some hazelnuts to make a hazelnut flour. Ground up hazelnuts, all-purpose flour into a dough. A new day. Uh, decided to take on too much yesterday so I didn't get to finish the Linzer cookies. So I just let the dough rest in the fridge overnight and I pulled it out about an hour ago so it could come up to room temperature so it'll make it easier to roll. Dust our counter a little bit with some flour unwrap the dough and put it on the flour. It might be easier to divide the dough in half and work with half at a time. We're gonna roll them into like a four millimeter thickness. I happen to have a rolling pin with a little disc on it that tells me how thick things are. Uh, do your best. Just try and get it even. That's all that really matters. Once it is rolled out, I have these little circle cookie cutters inch and a half this way. Punch out as many cookies as I can. We'll place them on a lined cookie sheet. They shouldn't spread out too much, so you can keep them fairly close together. I have a tiny little cookie cutter, and we'll punch out a hole on half of the cookies. Then we'll stick the sheets in the fridge, and while our oven is preheating to 350, we'll let them cool down so that they don't spread out. Then we'll bake them until they're done. You're gonna have extra dough. I was able to get about 70 cookies on my two cookie sheets. So that'll be about 35 cookies, which is like <laughs> a lot. The Linzer cookies are all baked up. Of course, the ones with the holes took less time than the ones without the holes. Hold them the moment you start to see color on them. You don't want to overbake these guys. We'll dust the ones with the holes with icing sugar. We'll try and match up a top with a bottom. This is definitely the time of year to like go look at the specialty jams and jellies and pick one out that floats your boat that you're excited about. I am using a seedless raspberry jam and then I found a spicy sour cherry jelly that I'm going to use as well. We'll melt a little bit of jam in the microwave and put it in the center of the cookie and then when the jam cools off it should hold the cookie together. Use a spoon and just a little bit and be gentle. You have to be super careful in order to get a clean product. A little bit finicky, but when they're done, they're really pretty. They look like little jewels. The spicy sour cherry jelly, I accidentally overheated it a little bit. And the cookies weren't like perfectly aligned, so some of it like oozed out the side. Totally normal, could happen to you, just something to be aware of. Um, again, it's fine, it's not gonna affect the taste, just the looks. I think maybe I want like the obvious one, right? So good, so tender, it just like crumbles apart in your mouth in such a good way. The jam is just like that little hit of sweet that you want. A uh, thing of note, the icing sugar that we use at home, uh, of course, absorbs like moisture and water, so it will disappear. Don't be worried. The stuff that they use in grocery stores is like a non-melt icing sugar so it doesn't melt but like ugh. enjoy these have fun bye guys